I guess I should start recording too. All right, all right, all right. Maya vs. Hisako. Sean, come with the Hisako. Another top tier girl character in the game that is not named Aria. Breaks the recap immediately. That is always a heavy. I like the light buttons. You don't see Hisako. Like, you can know the players don't main Hisako when they actually use their light buttons. Hisako means be scared of using those things. Oh, no confirm on that crouch medium. It is pretty confirmable, especially on counter hit like that. No shadow counter. Agar's trying to take his turn back with the DP, but stuffed before the move comes out because it loses its symbol before the active frames. That's out of range. Fight Stick didn't realize. Missed the punish. Got some movement. I mean... Oh, Fight Stick has missed some punishes. At least he's not, like, making himself punishable to using his movement to really be tricky here. It's Maya. That's one of her biggest strengths is she can, like, roll around, fly around the screen. Has these big air normals. All right, Heavy's broken. About even on life. Oh, wait, what the? That reset missing the second hit. I've never seen that before in my life. Fight Stick just wasn't blocking that. You cannot cancel that DP once it's been blocked. If you haven't seen your opponent commit to anything during a freeze term of an instinct freeze, you should just push jab or throw them, depending on what you think they're going to do. DPing there was pretty risky from Fight Stick, because you do get a one frame frame advantage on inputs after instinct pop. Counterbreaker spend one bar, I believe, should be able to kill. Doesn't spend the bar, it's going to kill anyway. I don't know Maya damage. I see him from Fight Stick. Look at those pips all loaded up. Homing unblockable dagger could be on the way. Tough to break juggles. You can lurk to break those manual tumble kicks by the trails on Maya's feet. They're pretty distinct between all three strengths, right? Being like the lowest at light and then working your way up to heavy, they have the thickest trails. Went for the reset. That is what... I oh, should not send the Rekka, especially the second Rekka. That's the one you don't want to stop on. I do respect that Sean knows that you should be going for resets with Hisako at Instinct, though. That is her game plan. All right, all right, trying to get those daggers back. Get some. Sean started off pretty good, but it's been all fight stick. He's kind of extending the combo pretty long, but Sean let him. One last chance for Sean here to try and make something happen. All right, fight stick takes game one. And we'll just have all the matches on stream. Yeah, I'll invite the Smurf when you're up, Noble Wolf. You're going to be the third match, you and Craven. All right, all right, all right. Getting off. Sticking with the Asako. I really like Sean trying out these different characters. Asako's like relatively easy to play, but she doesn't play like a typical fighting game character. So you really got to learn how to play her, even if, you know, a, her base game plan is pretty simple. She's just got a lot of non-standard stuff going on with her. Yeah, got to be careful trying to chain three lights. Most characters can't do that. Gets whiff punished. Missed the meaty. I like the attempt, though. It's a really good thing to meaty with his Tiker or Z. Super active. Plus on block. Overhead. Oh, trying to pick up the dagger? Okay, gets it. All right, Sean with a comfortable life lead. Doesn't really need to go in. Yeah, trying to make Fight Stick make a mistake like he did there. Being a bit too eager with that movement. Not going to kill. Should have done damage ender. Guess for game, though. That's going to be really hard to DP. It worked out. <laughs> I didn't know if that would work. Okay, unblockable. But drops the juggle after. That's really bad. That's a punish. Yeah. It says counter hit just because the all gets counter hit. So it's tough to see if it's actually a punish, right? But... Plus one. Ooh, gets checked. Sean did not push the right button there. Could have just pushed crouching medium punch or crouching medium kick, I believe. To beat whatever Maya did. Ooh, gets jumped on the cross up. Hisako doesn't have, you know, her anti-air button is pretty slow. But she does have a one frame parry if she reads that the opponent's going to press something in the air. But actually trying to anti-air cross ups is like pretty much impossible for Hisako because she's so slow on the crouching heavy punch. Sean being a bit eager. He doesn't have any of this wrath. All right, he gets a combo off this throw. Nicely done. Medium manual into the shadow. Broken. Still no wrap. No shadow counter. Checks the minus frames. Maya's love to try and throw tech there. All right. All right. See again that cross up. Very good. Nice little light confirm. Hisako needs meter to confirm off her lights. And Sean did just that there. No wrath. So, okay. Does have the wrath. Can cancel the parry. Did not cancel. I believe there's frames after the freeze to cancel that to parry. As long as you're over 50 wrath, you can cancel that normal into a parry. Nice reaction from Sean to take game two. We are 1-1. Apologies, I do not have any overlay to keep track of score, but... <laughs> Ooh, gets clipped. 
Yeah, you'll be the third set on stream. We're gonna play. She'll, you'll play three matches on stream total because we're gonna run a three round Swiss. So, and everyone's just gonna be on stream the whole time. So you got time if you want to like run a quick rank set or something. So we one match after this, or if you like to warm up in practice mode or something. That's a heavy. Got to learn to break those manual tumble kicks. Very good against Maya. Yeah, jump back daggers I think is pretty good against Isako. You just got to be careful that you don't lose it like that. Again, got to know your angles. Yeah, again, that's a hard button to anti-air with. That jumping heavy or crouching heavy. Again, getting jumped in on again. Got to be careful whiffing these big buttons. It's almost like jumping over a fireball. Let's it rock. Doesn't end the combo. That was probably a misinput, but this will take the life bar. Gonna build some meter. Maya almost at that instinct. Sean. Just throwing it out there. Plus one though. Doesn't challenge. 5 six definitely running away trying to go get that dagger back. <laughs> Alright, be careful blocking that. Hisako can dash under the daggers. Is it pretty hard to react with a dash? Because that's like a forward forward input. Oh, Sean is letting too much stuff rock. Five stick hasn't counter broke you at all. He's getting a lot of damage like that. Level 4 cash out because of the shadow of the previous combo. And now, God, I like it. Fight stick, just go back. You got this big life lead. It's all on Isako, and that is a very slow button. Gets a full screen confirm or conversion. That's wild. Maya can just do that. Drops at that time, though. Nice little light confirm. Only a true master, though. This is pretty much, I would say, an impossible comeback to make if you're Isako here. Do you want even a meter? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> for that button. Missing your TKRZ was a death sentence. Fight stick with the whiffed ultra going up. Someone get an invite on Xbox. Alright, alright. Sticking with the Asako. I like Sean's always sticking with these characters. There we go. I do want to see more breaks out of Sean. Just because fight stick hasn't. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah, you, you can link into the light, but the light cannot combo into the Rekka unless it's a counter hit. So you unfortunately cannot combo there. Don't know if Sean knows that. That's why soccer players don't be using the lights that much, because you got to use medium to get a combo. Again, trying to hold up. Fight stick not being patient when he's minus off to those tumble kicks. Broken immediately. Sean finding no damage there. Ah. Tried to poke with too slow of an option with the sweep there. Gets thrown. Like I'm saying, my players always throw checking when they're minus. Just because the tumble kicks leave you right up close in throw range. Gets a combo. Drops it. I like the one chance attempt, but just dropped. I don't know if you can actually get that crouching medium manual there off the throw. I think it has to be the full six frame close medium punch manual. It's still alive, but just barely. Did not respect the meaty daggers. Hisako just got to hold that. I don't think the daggers do any chip, though. It's like you block them and they build the pips, but... All right, one more pip needed for the homing unblockable. Yeah, break that shadow. He's been throwing that all the time and not counter breaking you on it. Very Heavy. Ooh, locks out. Oh, not the pressed optimization from Sean there. Comboing into that's just wasting your own instinct. I don't really like that. It doesn't add much damage at all. You do get the hard knockdown. But I would have just taken the reset at the wall, honestly. Because now your instinct is gone and you are not getting a second one. That is a rough place to be in. Asako versus Maya, especially with that. Oh, missed the punish. Has an unblockable dagger to back him up, though. Drops the juggle. Nice. See, that's what I'm saying. You can dash underneath these daggers and get punishes. Very strong for Asako in the matchup. I got TJ's team again. That's weird. Oh, drop the confirm. Definitely could have probably got a combo off those daggers. Those are minus up close. Just got to push the right button. Sean hesitated a bit and ended up getting counter hit. The daggers are only plus close up, but Feisty going to go straight into Ultra and taking the first set of the tournament 3 1.